I'm just going to keep this one really short. Um, so there's quite a bit of verified artwork of Lucy Mac Smith from life. We've got several of these pictures of Lucy. And you will see that she doesn't have... I'll go ahead and click on this and open it up. I know I can't zoom in when I'm like on Google. Also, I find this uh, super interesting. But I think that is the papyrus in a frame. And then people argue like what it actually looked like. But anyway, there, there's the tip of her nose right there. And you see the tip of her nose is quite a bit higher up. Okay, and then you can see she's got this bonnet. So this is roughly probably probably 1842, but we, you know, we don't really know like how long was they were there until 46. <clears throat> and then Monsley, I can't remember. I think somebody said he didn't go to Utah. So it may not have been 1842. I mean, Joseph wrote in his journal that Sudcliffe Monsley drew him in 1842, but it doesn't mean he stopped. But anyway, um, my battery's about to die here, but this is a very sheer bonnet. And you notice that Lucy's hair is not dark, you know? I mean, there's, there's gray there, but it's not very dark. Um, she does have these sunken in eyes, which has lighter eyebrows, maybe thinner lips. Okay, but the tip of her nose is one important thing to notice, and that's just very similar to Joseph's nose. When you look at the death mask of Joseph Smith <clears throat> from the front, you can see his nostrils very well, if it's perfectly flat and even angled. Whereas Hiram's, the tip of his nose is a lot lower. It's kind of like that tip of his nose nostril. Okay, um, going back here. And this is history, churchofjesuschrist.org. This church, it's 1845. Okay, so I, I double checked. I've studied a lot about Frederick Piercy's artwork. And um, so anyone that's getting tons of anxiety about liking another photo or liking my or trying to argue against me because they're scared or I don't know what's going on with people. Um, just calm down, find something else you're into. This calms me down. It just makes me happy to research things and I've just strongly felt that I should research this, but a Frederick Piercy drew her from life, and he was a really good artist. She died in 1856. Let me see, what did they put? Oh, 45 was a journal entry. Anyway, it was 1855 that this drawing ended up in a book, and she died in 1856. And so someone tried to argue, well, she just, the tip of her nose went down, you know, just got longer and longer. Okay, so this looks like Maudsley got it right, because the tip of her nose, we can see her nostrils very well. So when the tip of your nose is higher, it doesn't necessarily mean you have a smaller nose. So, you know, she, she doesn't have a super tiny nose or anything. Okay, but this is from life. And this is from life. And she's got that bonnet all the way far on her forehead. She's got that far on her forehead. And then... Suddenly, you get this. A recently discovered photograph of Lucy Mac Smith. And now, I get not all you guys are artists, but the tip of that nose couldn't be any lower. It's just so dramatic. I mean, I understand someone's like, oh, yeah, well, Lucy. I mean, I've pointed this out several times. Lucy's, that's more like Hiram's nose right there, right? But um, it was a year before she died. Her nose was like that. It's not going to change in a year, and her hair's not suddenly going to get... That's a woman with dark, dark hair. You know, and she's... I get... You know, they, they, they got the sunken in eyes, and... But you, you could also look at other things, too. Like, we could just sort of analyze her chin there. Her face. She actually looks younger, to be honest. I mean, I think they just see that there's women that have lost their teeth, and this frankly looks like a sketch. There's other 
versions of that. Let's look at the other one. But I just, I don't believe that's a photo of Lucy Max Smith at all. Did they, there it is. This is one that, the other, that other one looked like a sketch. But still, it's, the tip of that nose is very, very low. And that hair is very, very dark. And so, I mean, I guess she could have dyed her hair. I don't think she did, you guys. She was too sick. I think she was too sick to do much of anything. But of course, she's got the bonnet and everything. But I, I don't at all believe this is a photo of Lucy Max Smith. And um, I don't know. So they, they just... Photos is this Lucy Max Smith Joseph Smith Senior genealogical. Let's look at that website. Is this Lucy Max Smith? So they did put this. I think they just uploaded this, you guys, because I couldn't click on it. So now we can zoom in. And you can see better that the tip of her nose is a lot lower than all the artwork. The tip of her nose is higher, um, lighter eyes. Her eyes look, her eyes are brown, you guys, and she's got black hair. Okay, brown eyes, the tip of her nose is longer. Black hair, you don't see much there, but you definitely can see. Her hair is white, it's gray, right here. Because you can see her ear, you can see this is sheer. You would see black hair, and you don't. So this isn't Lucy Max Smith. 